You've got this. Oh. And you've got this. Oh. Now, let me see if it works now. Oh, I think I've fixed God. it. <laughs> television and it was uh, surely every man's dream to uh, win those tours well that dream came true for for our winner who was Nick Brown who's on the phone now good morning Nick Brown hello Jim hello mate how are you good morning, Nick. Fine, thanks. Oi, where are you at the moment I'm on the M5 just south of Worcester at the moment can we turn Nick up please you're on the M5 doing what on the way up to main road oh yeah, oh, yeah you're a city fan you're on a coach are you with other other yeah, fans Supporters coach from Gloucester Cheltenham, yeah. All oh, right. Have you got the tools yet, Nick? Yes, I have. Yeah. How, how did you feel when they arrived? I feel great. There's holes in the wall everywhere. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the envy of all your friends, mate? Oh yeah, yeah. So, so sure, it, yeah. is is your house still standing then? Just about, yeah. Just about, yeah. Did you when they arrived? Did you get all your friends around and look at your tools? No, my wife was getting a bit excited about it, though. Right, right. right. <laughs> what, out of that whole collection of tools, what is your favourite? It's got to be the Sabre Saw, mate. Go oh, on, the yeah. Sabre Saw! Yeah. What? No, we're just, we're just watching it again for, uh, oh, for people who are... Oh, look at that. Straws and all. It's powerful stuff, isn't it? That's great. <laughs> I tell you what, can life get any better for you, Nick? Sorry? Can life get any better for you? Uh, not really, no. No, it is, it is the ultimate in prize, isn't it? Listen, Nick, will you yeah. do me a favour? Will you get your tools out for us, yeah? And will you get someone to take a picture <laughs> of you? Yeah. yeah. And then we send it into the show so we can show people what you look like, the winner. I oh, will do, mate, yeah. You, you promise? Yeah, promise. Perfect. Nick Brown, everyone, the winner. <laughs> Do you, know what, do you know what Nick Brown does? Nick Brown lives the dream, yeah, that's what he does. Dream. He lives yeah, the dream. Yeah. Can I live the dream? Are my powers strong today? Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, Here we go. Oh, Are strong this morning. Thanks, Diesel boys. <laughs> but Tim, I think you will be interested in this. It is another new international oh, yeah. kit. Wait. <laughs> Why on earth would they want little Welsh kits, Helen? Timothy, I know it's hard to accept, <laughs> but your children are half Welsh. <laughs> there you go. Did you, no, I, I'm sorry. Nationality passes through the uh, the male side of the. Are you yes, sure it does. about that? Yeah, so they are in don't, fact what, English don't you twins. Me. They're little yeah, English. Don't you believe no, me? No, they're little English twins. Anyway, what would they want with football kits? Surely they uh, they're girls. They'll be reading Vogue, doing their hair, and baking me cakes, won't they? <laughs> I tell you what, that material is quite ruffled around the front, isn't it? There's a strange shape of the Gold Mingo! As you see, Minga's got a list of some things that are best left at other shows. This is uh, today. to meet this morning is lovely Luna. She's uh, 27 years old. She's 5 foot 7 inches tall. She measures in at 34, 23, 34. She comes from Reading, which is in Berkshire, and she's called Maria Maris. <laughs> Welcome to the show, uh, Maria. Um, first of all, who do you support? Liverpool. Yeah. 
That's your own shirt, isn't it? Quality old school it is, shirt. It is. All right. Um, now, apparently your real name's not Maria Maris. Is that true? That's true. It's my stage name. What is your, your stage name? What is <laughs> your model name? What is your surname? Vasiliades. Ah, why is that? Are you Greek? Cypriot. Greek Cypriot? Yes. I went there once. I went to Greece. I, well, to Greece. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I went there. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. What yeah. was the food like? What was the food what like? Was the, <laughs> what, what was the food like? like? Was what, what was the food like? You want to know what the food was like? The food. The, 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 food. the food was awful, but the place was smashing. Yeah. Don't worry, the Greek people have got a great sense of hummus. Oh. Right, what is your uh, job? I'm a part-time model. Are you Not really? Laundry and swimwear. Nice. Oh, fantastic. I'll tell you what, right, I went to one of those uh, uh, lingerie shows the other day, and I was, I was backstage. It was brilliant. It was like a fashion thing, lingerie. And you know who was there? It was Leonardo DiCaprio's bird, um, Gazelle. <laughs> Gazelle, she was there, right, with that girl yeah. from Rio. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I can confirm to her from full Brazilian. <laughs> After, after the fashion show, um, uh, Kate uh, Moss was there as well, uh, and uh, she was having a party, just a model party, but I got invited, it was a birthday party, I got invited, it was a real shock at about 11 o'clock at night, Kate started jumping out the girls. <laughs> right, what is your, uh, what is your, um, what is, what is your marital status? I'm single. You're single. <laughs> Bad of being. Right, um, do you have a boyfriend? I do. Oh, no. What's his name? Simon Bostock. S Simon Bostock. And, uh, Bostock! How long have you been getting out with him for? Three and a half years. It's a never last. It's a never last. And it's, uh, you're, uh, you're uh, a part-time model and not obviously full-time. You obviously need a, a bit of cash. What do you do for a living? I'm actually composing dance and trance music. <laughs> All right. But well, what does he do for a living? Oh, he's an NT sub specialist. Is he? Ah, oh, what does that mean? He's an IT. <laughs> oh, he's an it boy. That's what he does. I'll tell you what, I went to buy one of those computers a few years ago. <laughs> I did, yeah. And uh, I didn't know anything about them, but I knew they came in two bits. Yeah, there's a bit on the bottom, and there's a bit which looks like the TV screw. Beautiful girl in there, absolutely stunning. Ended up going out with her. What happened? Is I said, what's that called? And she said, BDU. And I said, no, you. <laughs> Sorry, that's not very PC, is it? PC, you see? Sorry, PC. Sorry, Mum. Okay, right. Um, tell us some interesting facts about yourself. Well, I've got a lot of claimed fame. Have you? I've met a lot of footballers. Uh, <laughs> and? <laughs> and? <laughs> Do you should dance? I used to dance for Nomad. You used to dance for Nomad? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I went out with a Nomad one. I did! I did! I did! I went out with a Nomad. It was going really well to the second day. I went around that house and she moved. So you can dance to Nomad, can you? I used to dance. Good! Let's, let's, let's hear the music. Come on, let's go dance. That is not how you dance to Nomad. This is how you dance to Nomad. We should bring those guys back, shouldn't we? Love the, love the fish, fish. Yeah, we should bring all that back. That was funny, that was back in the good old days. All right, could you show the, uh, the readers what they could uh, win in this week's competition? <laughs> Great prizes, Maria. And uh, so, can I just have that? Just got this email in. I've got to quickly read this. This comes from Tony, who's uh, head of uh, Cotton Quality Control, who says, like yourself, I try to keep ahead of fashion. Marisi, I've been disappointed at the quality of some of the printed T-shirts bought from quality sports shops. Uh, in most cases, the cotton is poor quality, and it can be easily identified by checking if the printed logo is visible from the inside of the shirt. 
to prove this theory and to test the quality of the soccer match. Please, can you show me the inside of the logo on the Socrates T-shirt on next Saturday's show? Unfortunately, we can't, because that would be rude, wouldn't it? <laughs> but what we could do is show you from... Uh, uh, we could get a close-up so you can have a look at the... Uh, can we see that? There you go. That's from Tony. Can we get a close-up of that? That's it. Close up. That's, that's it. And I think you'll find we do sell... We do, don't, we don't sell them. We do give away the best quality T-shirts. There you go. All right, are you ready to, are you ready to cut one with me? All right. Cue the music, please. It's good. Obviously, uh, as you can see, Mary's problem probably put these guys. Just pick one of these guys to cap with us. What's his name? Sorry, that side. What's his name? Jonesy. Jonesy. Oh, Jonesy. Ready, Jonesy? Cue the music, please. Now, please. Right, now what a week. Can you believe that the Mighty Blues beat Spurs 4 0? Not once, but twice. I think I'm going to have to celebrate now by getting the Colonel out. to uh, the popular culture and I've been reading our newspaper oh. and I'm most distressed to hear that that Britney Spears and a boyfriend are having real relationship trouble. Yeah. What's, what's his name? Timberland, Timberlake. Justin. Is he? Oh, that brand new love guy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that happening now? What they did that? Right Thank you. Who's on the show this morning? Ah, Tommy Johnson. Very good to see you all, boy. Stay. 
crazy. Stein. Johnny Frankenstein. Uh, Carl, I'll tell you what, those, those trousers look tight. Uh, what, what's worn under those? Hey, there's nothing worn under here. It's only perfect working order. <laughs> John. <laughs> jo Johnny, uh, Johnny Frankenstein. That's right. Uh, is it true that, that today you're riding the Queen's horse? Yeah, I'm getting nervous, actually. Why is that? I don't want to let Graham Norton down. He's looked after me since I've been at his table. Oh, oh, easy talking. Graham, Graham, Graham Norton, what's he like? What's he like? He's all right, bloke, actually. He likes a flutter. Yeah. Each way. So we're in the rabbit. Hey, I am number one jockey ever invented by the world. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He is a rubbish jockey. He never wins anything. He never beat me in a race. Even on the beach the other day, we got down to race on the donkeys, OK? I get down there, and there's only one. Have you ever raced each other? Yeah, you wouldn't mind nose. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, I'm racing today. I'm are racing you? Doncaster. Are you? What's, yeah. your, what's your horse called? I'm going to be on Jordan's chest. <laughs> jo Jordan's chest? At Doncaster, how's yeah. it going? Good and firm. Sorry, good to firm. Shut up, you know, one day! Wrestling. I've got myself my dream horse to Have you? Yeah, lovely three-year-old filly. Oh. Beautiful, shiny oh. coat. And I've named her after one of my favourite characters out of one of my favourite children's books. Really? What have you named her? Captain Hook. <laughs> How many hands? Just the one. The other one's Nook. I'm riding in the Tsar of Russia and the Cap State, oh, yeah. so we're uh, Moscow. Yeah, you're in there! <laughs> right, that's uh, a, a one horse race. If you'd like to join me again, please. Uh, hey, what's she got? She's got the heart! Right, so okay, if you want to win this t shirt in the competition, uh, well cut. 2002, call us now on 09002 444 578. Oh, good. I, 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 I'm bad there. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right, now it's time to catch up. We see us at Arsenal, Nigerian superstar, Nwaku Carlo. How he got on when he came head to head with Brian Killer Kilkline in this week's Nifty Fifty Challenge. Welcome once again, readers, with another pretender to the Kilkline throne that glistens like a snail's trail. All the way from Nigeria, North London, Kanu, the first Arsenal man to attempt to outgun the biggest cannon of them all. Is he gonna? Is he gonna? Let's wrestle.
Rugby, you know, that rugby's is, a man's game, isn't it? It's such mm. a rubbish game, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Martin Sims for that last third eye. Although, shame on you. for as he, he was so terrified in his email. He put it, oh, I was just quickly checking the egg chasing last week. You were watching. Just flicking yeah. through. Yeah. Uh, the next third eye is from Paul Gallagher <laughs> in Sussex, who noticed Rangers have a He was playing keepy-ups with his chewing gum before the start of the second half. <laughs> Second half's about to start, he's come on as a substitute. He blows a little bubble, you see there, he's got his gun. Hup, 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 hup. But he drops it, he picks it up and has another go. <laughs> they should get him a football, <laughs> shouldn't they? There you go, you, I mean, obviously you don't see that bit, but drops that's, that's it, how, picks it up. That's how people like Socrates learn their skills, Helen, out in, out in Rio. And, and starts... Oh it's isn't it? Healthy, that is. He uh, ended after that. <laughs> Put it straight back in his mouth when he's done that. Well, you had that. Cudicini <laughs> took his gum out, left it on a blade of grass, saved the <laughs> shot, and then picked it back up, picked a bit of grass off, stuffed it back in his gum. Uh, our last third eye was spotted by Bury fan Gary Payne and Martin and Simon in Manchester. They all say, while everyone was watching greening, showboating during Borough Everton, did anyone notice Gaza run straight into the back of the ref with a flying <laughs> leap? <laughs> I love Gaza. We we do love Gaza, and it had to be him, didn't it? Showboating, but look. <laughs> <laughs> What's your ref? <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, giggling away in the office, we thought actually that's not the first time we've seen Gaza <laughs> flying through the air on the third eye slot. Anyone remember this from a few seasons ago? Middlesbrough playing Bradford and Gaza was having a go at a bit of defending. A cross comes in. Saunders, I think. Watch. Six. <laughs> 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 All right, right, here's the address for any third eyes you might have spotted.